We are going to talk about some injured quarterbacks today. They've been dropping like flies. Trevor Lawrence, the latest victim on Monday Night Football. We will get into him and because the Jaguars are in contention for the number one seed as well. We'll also talk about a college football playoff, NFL style, and uh, and we'll preview a thrilling Thursday Night Football game between the Patriots and the Steelers with a total of 30 points on the board. Let's get into <laughs> Trevor Lawrence. Hey, hey, Will, is that is that currently the lowest total for a game? I think I read somewhere that it's it's creeping on being the low, lowest total in an NFL game. It's, it's basically Army, Navy. It's basically Iowa like Iowa Army playing. It's Literally. Like, it's, it's, it's Army yeah. Navy. They play this weekend. Like that yeah. line, like what 28 yeah. of us is? Have you guys yeah. ever been to the Army Navy game? I've never been. I want to go. No, it's I heard it's game. amazing though. Yeah. So a pipe dream or a bucket list? Uh Bucket list, list probably. Yeah, yeah. Pipe, pipe, pipe dream. Pipe dream. I, I, maybe yeah. I won't be able to ever go. I don't know. No, no I think for you, for, yeah, yeah. For like, for like someone in like a foreign country, maybe it's a pipe dream. For you, a bucket list, doable. I think it's doable. Maybe your work with your charitable work with veterans, we can probably get you over there and your connections with CBS. So let's make that happen. For, hashtag free Brady. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag enlist Brady. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence got hurt on Monday night. Hi. I don't, couldn't tell. Doug Peterson was weird about the phrasing. He said it was either like right high ankle sprain or high right ankle sprain, which I think means a, a high ankle sprain on his right ankle. But it was, it was just a weird way to phrase it. He's not going to have surgery. He's trying to, quote, aggressively rehab to get back this week. Man. How soon can he play Brady and how soon should he play? Uh, so being that he's a right-handed quarterback and it's his right ankle, that's tough. That's really the leg that you're going to push off of and really transfer all your weight in that back foot to the front foot, all that torque, all that power. So that makes it a little bit more difficult in regards to his throwing motions and feeling comfortable when he does come back. It's so funny we're talking about this today. I literally was on a walk earlier, uh, ran into a former NFL player who's had this procedure. He actually had the tightrope procedure what? that you typically would have. It randomly came up in conversation because I don't know anything about it. And once he said he had had it, I kind of asked him, I said, all right, well, why'd you do it? Uh, and, and we talked about some of the benefits. And, and the benefits really are, when you think about that ligament, what they're trying to do is, once it gets sprained, it starts spreading out. You know, you, you, uh, it was a fibula and tibia. Um, mm-hmm. and, and what it does is it just really locks it in. And so it doesn't allow that ligament to kind of stretch or bend and, and where it's painful. And so for some players, they have it immediately because they want to get right back in there and play. And especially if you're a running back, someone who is a wide receiver DB who cuts a lot, it makes a ton of sense. For a quarterback, you might say, ah, well, they don't run that much, even though Trevor Lawrence kind of does. Yeah. So it was interesting to hear his opinion saying like, yeah, maybe he needs it, maybe he doesn't. Maybe probably depends on which leg it's on. Like in this case, because it's his right, maybe you would want to do it. But some guys are really resistant to having surgery. And Leger, you could speak to this like, no player wants to have that on their their rap sheet, right? That they went under the knife, they had this done. Right. That. It's it's even though this is almost like the Tommy John, where like guys come back better, stronger, they feel more stable from that. Um, in some cases, like people just don't want to have to have it done. So I, I don't know. It's gonna be tough to see how fast and aggressive he can be with his rehab to be able to come back, given which one it is, and it's a high ankle. I would say it's gonna be at least a couple of weeks. Um, and even if he does come back out in that amount of time. He's not going to look anywhere close uh, to being 100%. He didn't yeah. practice Wednesday, by the way, dude, just for – yeah. I mean, you wouldn't think he would. A short nah. week already. They played on Monday night. That injury looked gruesome, right? Uh, I mean, I think he's probably blessed to only have the high ankle because it looks like it could have been knee, PCL, the way he got bent back. Could have been a number of things. But to Brady's point, right, we as players, the last thing we want to do is go under the knife. Like I myself had a situation – matter of fact, when I was with Jacksonville for two years – I staved off surgery on my ankle because I didn't want to get cut on. I had ligament damage, right? And now I'm dealing with some issues going forward, right? Uh, but anything, anytime you're a player, especially as young as Trevor Lawrence is, right, you, you want to bank on the rehab, being able to bring you back. You don't want to go under the knife because there's a connotation once you have surgery, right? And you don't know what could potentially happen in that surgery. Um, there's risk for infection going forward too after a surgery. That happens a lot where guys have to get multiple surgeries because they have infection. So that's something that Trevor Lawrence was probably thinking about. And if I'm him, Brady, I'm probably not playing the next two weeks, right? If you look at who they play, right, two of the top defenses in football, I'm not mm. saying as a competitor you don't want to play, but you want to be smart too, right? Like you're playing the Baltimore Ravens, you're playing the Cincinnati Bengals. Yes, you're still 
essentially fighting for that number one C, but Brady, you can speak to this too. A high ankle sprain, they say sometimes it's better to just break your ankle than have a high ankle sprain because it lingers, right? This is the thing that could really affect him going forward. We saw Patrick Mahomes have to deal with something similar to this last year in the playoffs. Now, he was able to gut it out and look a lot better in the Super Bowl than he did in the other playoff games. But this is a situation where you don't want it to make it make it worse before it gets better because it's a thing that lingers. So if I'm Trevor Lawrence, earlier this year, he played on a short week on a Thursday where it's, I didn't think he could. And he ended up being, I think, their leading rusher that game. So yeah. what do I know? Uh, this kid is tough, obviously. I just think if you're Jacksonville, this is the face of your franchise going forward. You got to be cognizant of that. You need to be smart and realizing sometimes you got to protect the player from himself. And with a high ankle sprain, this can linger. This is the last thing you want, especially going into the playoffs. Hey, hey Brady, Brady, what what would be – I'm curious what you think, like, like especially as like a, you know, in the – and I don't know if you dealt with this in the moment, like as a player, but you're looking at the schedule and you have, as Deuce points out, it's like you have the Ravens and the Browns, and then you have a pretty friendly schedule after that. It's like the Buccaneers and the Panthers and the Titans – do you do you weigh that? Because I mean, like we obviously from the outside weigh. We were like, well, I mean, you sit these games out, you could lose these anyway. And the, as a player, you're not thinking that, though, right? No, you. I mean, and, and Leger again, you can speak this too. Like as a player, you're just honestly focused on, especially when you have an injury, the day that's in front of you. Like that's Correct. the only thing you care about. You're gonna do everything you can to rehab, to try to improve upon how you feel the way you're eating, the way you're sleeping, the way you're re- like the way you're resting, like everything you're doing is geared towards getting back to be hundred percent. Like that is your sole and only focus. And so you don't look at the schedule. Um, if, unless he's like for sure ruled out this week, you're sitting in game plans, taking as many mental reps as you can, knowing that you're basically going to get tested before the game, two hours before, and they're going to determine whether or not you can play. And that's the only reps you're going to get of those mental reps. So everything is geared now towards, trying to say like, what do I need to do to try to get myself back hundred percent? And that's the interesting thing about this is, you know, not electing to do the tightrope surgery and not, I'm not trying to be an advocate for it. I've never had it in any way, but it is documented. You can come back faster because it creates more stability in that joint outside of having to go through the pain of having a surgery. So it's, it's kind of interesting that maybe he's choosing not to go that route. <clears throat> it could be the medical preference. It could be his preference, you don't necessarily know, um, but there's varying opinions on, you know, why you should, when you should uh, with this particular injury and in in this particular surgery. But yeah, honestly, like you're only focused on Cleveland. Like that's really the only thing you're focusing on and you're hoping and praying to God that, you know, if you can't make it through Cleveland, you'll be back for Baltimore. And that's that's mm-hmm. all you really do at that point in time. Is this- <laughs> I was, I was asking you a very esoteric question that was wildly unnecessary. Um does God care about your ankle? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, before, before we move on, Brady, was was this the surgery that Tua had before? Correct. Yeah, and, and, and this is the one that Kenny before. Pickett got too. Right? Yeah, well, yeah, I was going to say, that's, it's really interesting the juxtaposition. Kenny Pickett did have, as, as, as uh, producer Harry points out in the chat, did have tightrope surgery this week. But I feel like Kenny Pickett, there, the it's got to be related to the, the level of ankle sprain, right? Because Kenny Pickett... They said they hope to have him back by week 18, whereas Trevor Lawrence is like talking about like coming back in week 14. And you would think at least like week 16 would be maybe the latest based on what the Jaguars have said. Yeah, but we don't know the specifics to the injuries for either. And sure, so right. all we're doing is wildly speculating. I just know the timetable is expedited if you get the tightrope. Now there's going to be a period of time of discomfort from the surgery itself as the you know the medical device obviously sets itself in. But for the most part, man, like I, I saw like some college players earlier this year who got it done. They were out there in that, that second week, you know, not even two weeks fully after on the field and warmups playing in games with it. So it, it's, it's an, inc- I mean, it's, it's one of those surgeries. Like I kind of likened it to a Tommy John where a lot of players don't look at it as negative. They're kind of like, all right, great. Now I don't have to deal with the, you know, this issue down the line of instability. Correct. Again, the player I talked to today, he got it after he was done playing and he huh. got it only because it was still bothering him at that point. So some players feel like it's almost preventative in, in some way and strengthening those those ligaments to be able to not have this issue in the future whether playing or not playing. Were you like were you like walking around the Heisman house or something? Like what was the 
No. Just like running into NFL players just in the street, I walking know. around the neighborhood. <laughs> no. Just just on a walk. My, my wife and I try to go on a walk from time to time. Uh, we feel like that's a healthy thing to do or we can talk I'm about. Not, I'm not questioning your walk. I'm like, you're no, like, I'm just hey, saying. Hey. And randomly, we, we I ran into hey, we go, we a picture for you. We go, yeah. No, we go to the same church. And so he had to drive by, and we've been meaning to catch up and talk. And we hadn't had a ch- uh, I hadn't had a chance because I've been traveling so much. So uh, I had a chance to obviously finally catch up and talk a little bit. Shout out to the Catholic Church. Love the Catholic Church. 